Hi, so I'm uh, Ryan Jordan here at Exotic Zoo in Telford and I'm one of the uh, keepers here that looks after all the fantastic animals that we have and unfortunately we are devastated that this year we couldn't house our penguins. We don't have any penguins at the minute at our zoo purely because throughout the start of this year there was a huge malaria outbreak in penguins and with the outbreak of penguin malaria, unfortunately a lot of the surplus penguins that were spare going around, unfortunately didn't make it. So a lot of zoos are now waiting. Along with us, we are waiting on a list now for surplus penguins to actually come and join our little zoo here at Telford. So those penguins are supposed to be getting, and the ones we will hopefully still be uh, to arrive at our zoo. We are hoping for the Humboldt penguins. So a very smaller uh, species of penguin, which is quite a nice one. Very loud and noisy, but we're, we're quite hoping for them to be as loud as possible here so that we can at least communicate with our birds and I hope they'll be very, very interested and happy at our, our little zoo here at Exotic Zoo. Uh, so we're hoping for the penguins to hopefully arrive for next year. Um, when we say next year, we don't mean like another next summer kind of next year. We're hoping that hopefully for the, if all goes well with the penguin breeding this year, hopefully for around about March, April kind of time, once all the eggs start to hatch, we'll get a proper picture. And hopefully we'll get some uh, real definite dates then. When we went and we were told we couldn't have our penguins, a lot of us here were devastated, uh, especially when a few of us went on a penguin course last year to learn how to look after penguins. And unfortunately with the huge heartbreaking news that a lot of penguins unfortunately didn't survive. Obviously it was a big blow for us here, so now we've got uh, some substitutes in our enclosure. We've got some fake plastic penguins that keep us a little bit busier too. But we still maintain on their pool, we've still got to clean it. So it's all ready for when we do get that final day to say oh, the penguins are ready and waiting. So our enclosure roughly cost us because we managed to uh, do some of it ourselves. So we put in a lot of time and effort. Our enclosure did cost us a fair amount and we have it at roughly around about 16,000 just for the pool itself. And we have all sorts of different uh, technicals from pumps and things like that that are all included in that price too. 